The Royal Alexandra Hospital on the seafront in Rill is a fine example of a Victorian hospital. Originally built as a convalescent home for sick and needy children to provide the fresh air treatment that was favoured at the time, this hospital has developed and adapted over the past century. And at one point it was the main general hospital for the locality before Aspetti Glenclued was opened. The building itself is of cultural and historical significance locally. The building is Grade 2 listed as an excellent example of a hospital building of the time and because of the chapel with its richly crafted interior. In 2013, the BCU board committed to developing the site to offer modern community hospital facilities to the local population. The outline business case is expected in January by Welsh Government. Unfortunately, we've reached a point where this landmark local building can no longer be adapted and updated to deliver a full range of modern community healthcare services. The building itself is no longer fit for purpose. But we do recognise and understand our responsibility to maintain a listed building of such cultural and historical significance. The proposed way forward will provide a new build community hostel adjacent to the Royal Alexandra and light refurbishment of the Alex provide office accommodation for multi-agency and multidisciplinary teams based on site. We will be able to establish a healthcare campus with a focus on prevention of multiple admissions, independence and well-being. This represents an opportunity for the health board to establish a blueprint for modern community hostel where multidisciplinary teams and integrated roles can collaborate around service users. Our focus will be on primary prevention and of health and well-being needs in the future. This will be done through a holistic assessment of each service user's needs, including pharmacy and social care. The aim will be to reduce the length of hospital inpatient stay and avoid the need for repeat medical intervention. The ward consists mainly of individual ensuite rooms, enabling dignity and privacy of patients, but with social areas so that people do not feel isolated or lonely. The facility will feature a number of new services to the locality. Expanded services for sexual health, community, dental and diagnostics. Integrated older people's mental health services on site. A same day service where people can be treated locally for minor injury and minor ailment. Improved outpatient facilities offering a range of therapies and clinics. A 28 bedded ward with individual rooms and a multidisciplinary assessment unit adjacent. On-site third sector space including a community cafe and a wellbeing hub, co-located multi-agency health and social and third sector teams in the refurbished Royal Alexandra building, improved office environment for support staff. People currently have got to go to Common Bay, Denby and Hollywell um, from this area. Obviously this is insufficient and our patients and relatives find this very very frustrating. What we really need is a local hospital for the local people. I think a lot of the clients who come to older persons mental health services know the site very well. They've used it themselves over the years or that members of their family have used it. And they'll be able to come there in the future and see something which is state of the art, which is integrated with all, their, all the other community services that they may need to use, whether health services or provided by the Alzheimer's Society or, or, or other agencies. What we need is the community services and primary care working together to lessen the load on Glancloyd Hospital, which is our District General Hospital. If we all came together, worked together, then definitely there would be a lessening of the load. I've been a GP here for 18 years in this area and I know that this will be the case. By looking at a different model in the north of Denbyshire, because they're at the, the, the closest community facilities, Hollywell really, isn't it? Or Colwyn Bay or Llandigno. So for that large populace that live in that area, Glanclwyd is the only answer. And so by, I suppose, moving forward with the Alex, as was former the Alex, whether you call it that going forward, I don't know, but um, it's how we could offer a better service to those people. Denbyshire County Council are fully supportive of the new North Denbyshire development. That will provide an excellent opportunity for more integrated and joint working between health, social care and the third sector. We'll be able to work together in a more coordinated and timely way and that means local people will have uh, the treatment, the care, the support, the information, advice and assistance that they need to improve and maintain their health and well-being. The board is formally asked to approve the outline business case for submission to Welsh Government. Following a period of scrutiny by Welsh Government, the project team will develop more detailed designs and images of the new healthcare campus 
with an aim of submission of the full business case in January 2018 for Welsh Government to approve. If construction work can commence by April 2018, the new facilities can be opened in 2020.